Cool. Next game up uh, on the college football slate that we're going through for week one is uh, West Virginia and Missouri, and I believe that is in West Virginia. And the line's currently uh, 11 and a half, uh, more or less. Most places actually only have one book up right now, so while I'm wrapping uh, this video up, I'm going to pull up some of the other books that are offering these lines and uh, make sure I'm not just um, giving or quoting bad uh, information. So um, I personally have this a little bit lower, and that's kind of what the point of these videos are. If you missed the other 16 that I've posted already, I'm just going down the college football slate for week one, game by game, telling you what my number is, um, if I lean to either side, what I'm looking at, if there's any you know, situational edge here or there. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm pulling this one up. I apologize. I probably should have done this before I started. But my line is 9.5, and, and it's currently 11.5. Um, maybe it's 11 some places is my guess, and so that's what I'm checking. But um, the point is it, it, it is a little low, and 10 is a key number, obviously, in football. Uh, it, and it's a game I think typically I would maybe look at backing if I uh, knew really what to expect from this Missouri team. And so it looks like it's anywhere from 10.5 to 11.5. So like Pinnacle is 10.5 for example. So this one's varying quite a bit between um, that 10 and a half, 11 and 11 and a half number. And I have it nine and a half. Um, and I've been pretty harsh on Missouri. They took a pretty big step back last year. Excuse me. And so the question I guess is how do they respond? They got rid of Pinkle. Not, they didn't really get rid of him. He retired. Uh, and they brought in Barry Odom, who was the defensive coordinator. Now he's the head coach. And so defensively, I think they're going to be strong again. Um, they actually bring back eight from last year's team that was really good. Um, and the, they were one of the worst offenses in the entire country. I think it was the third worst in points per game. They, they only averaged 11.7. And so, uh, or maybe it was 11.1. It was, it, either way, it was the third worst offense in the country. How do they get much better if Odom's a defensive-minded guy? He's, he's head coach now. Um, they have uh, Drew Locks back a quarterback for them. It's just not a team that I, even though I think that 11 and a half is too high and I could bet that um, because I'm showing a nine and a half and 10 and 11 if it hits there. Uh, it's normally something just numbers wise that has some value that's worth uh, betting just from a pure numbers perspective. But when you dive into a little bit more, uh, I just don't know what to expect from Missouri and Odom in his first game, you know, as a coach, a head coach, I should say. And so as a team, I'm going to have to just kind of watch the first few weeks before I really look into backing or betting against, um, you know, from a week to week basis, uh, West Virginia. I mean, I think they're going to be similar to what we saw last year. And so I'm confident in my power rating there. Uh, just, just too many question marks for, for, uh, Missouri to really make a player to, to recommend either side. If you were leaning towards Missouri, um, I think it is a little bit high at 11 and a half. So if you can bet that and you were going to bet it anyways, and I helped you kind of, um, What's the word? It confirmed your, your feeling or sense to bet that game. Um, I think you do have a little bit of an edge or a little value. So hopefully it works out for you, um, but I'll be passing.